All right, let's talk about WordPress plugins. Okay, so most bloggers or niche site creators go crazy when installing plugins on their WordPress site. I've seen people with 10 or 20 plus plugins because the truth is plugins can add a lot of functionality to our website, but at the same time, we really don't need that many plugins, especially if we're starting a new site. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about four plugins that I generally include on every website that I start, and I'm gonna talk about two bonus plugins as well. All right, so the first plugin is Yoast SEO. Now, most of you guys are probably familiar with the Yoast plugin. Um, it is arguably the best quote unquote SEO plugin. Rank Math is up there, it's another popular one. I don't really care which one you choose, but we do want an SEO plugin on our site just to do some basic things like set up breadcrumbs, submit a sitemap to the search engines. With Yoast, we can enter our meta description and so on and so forth. So those little things like setting our slug, um, it just makes it easier with Yoast. Now, the main reason that people actually use Yoast is not very helpful that I find, right? And that's the kind of SEO analysis tab that you see inside of Yoast, where you give Yoast a keyword and then they give you kind of like a checklist of 10 or 12 things with the green light, the orange light, the red light telling you, right? Did you include your keyword enough? Is your post more than whatever it is, 500 words? Do you have internal links? Do you have external links? Now, some of those things are helpful, but too many bloggers and niche site creators rely on Yoast to do their SEO for them, right? And that's not what Yoast is. Yoast is basically a somewhat helpful checklist. And again, I'm talking about the SEO analysis tab here. It's basically a checklist. It's not gonna help you rank in Google, right? That's your content and your links. So Yoast doesn't help you rank, but it can help you somewhat make sure you have internal links to and from your post. They also have another feature. I think they call it the readability feature. This is basically a poor man's version of Grammarly. Just use Grammarly instead. So again, I don't really use the readability feature. I don't really use the SEO analysis feature either. Cause again, it's not that helpful and it's not gonna help you rank. For, but for basic things like, again, setting your breadcrumbs, your meta description and your slug, Yoast is a good plugin and should be on most WordPress sites. All right, the second plugin is WP Rocket. So yes, WP Rocket is a paid plugin. If you're a serious blogger, if you're serious about creating um, a profitable niche site, then you need to be serious about your site, right? And that means paying $50 a year or whatever it is for WP Rocket because it's totally worth it. There's a lot of technology that goes into WP Rocket, you know, and I'm not a very technical SEO person, but the bottom line is it helps you speed up your website, right? It's a caching plugin that helps speed up your site. And site speed is somewhat of a, I will say over, overdone ranking factor, right? Um, I don't think it's as important as most people paint it out to be, but we do want our sites to load as fast as possible, not just for Google, but for our users, right? We want our users to be able to access and navigate and click around on our site as quickly as possible. And WP Rocket is the best caching plugin that can do that. Again, it's paid, but it's very reasonably priced. So you definitely need a caching plugin. If you're gonna get one, you might as well get the best one. So again, plugin number two is WP Rocket. All right, the third plugin is Short Pixel. So again, along the same lines of speeding up our website, we want our website to be as fast as possible. And images, right, the images on our site are one of the bigger things that slow down our site. When we upload a lot of images, when we upload a lot of big images, images that can really slow down your site. And so short pixel can help optimize those images for them. It can resize them and create smaller versions of the images to help speed up our site. So short pixel actually has two different WordPress plugins. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty confusing trying to figure out the difference between the two, which one you should get. There's the short pixel image optimizer, which basically works locally um, so it works with the images on your website. They also have the short pixel adaptive images, 
which works with their CDN. So the adaptive plugin is basically more advanced. They recommend it mostly um, for most websites, right? They only recommend the image optimizer if most of your audience is local, and that's probably not the case for you. So you're probably looking at the short pixel adaptive images. Is It is paid, but I'm looking at the pricing page right now, and they go by kind of traffic, visitors per month. So at 35,000 visitors per month, you're looking at $4 per month. At 80,000 visitors per month, you're looking at $8 per month. So again, totally reasonable. It helps our site speed. It optimizes our images. So I definitely do recommend Short Pixel. Now, one quick aside here before we continue with the plugins, I will say if you are using the Trellis theme by Mediavine, which is the theme I've been using on all of my new niche sites, then you really don't need Short Pixel and you really don't need WP Rocket, at least for all of its advanced functionality. The Trellis theme by Mediavine kind of takes care, it takes care of the images for you. So you don't need to pay for Short Pixel. And again, you want a caching plugin that can actually cache your page, but you don't need all of the fancy technology behind um, WP Rocket. So if you're looking for a brand new theme, check out the Mediavine Trellis theme because it, again, it can eliminate the need for some of these plugins. I'm not an affiliate for the plugin, but I do use them on my own niche sites. All right, the fourth plugin on our list is called Link Whisper. So I've been really enjoying this plugin. Um, I actually have a 10 site license, so I'm paying for it on 10 different sites. And this is an internal linking plugin. And the reason it's very effective is because what you can do is you can set a keyword that you're trying to internal link and the link that you want to link on your site and Link Whisper will automatically add the internal links for you based on the keyword and link that you give it. Now, if you've ever done manual internal linking before, you know what a pain in the butt it can be to do this because there's no real easy process for manual internal linking. You kind of have to do site searches in Google using different keywords on your domain, um, open up those results in new tabs and then add your internal links manually and then add them back to the new post that you just published. With Link Whisper, you can do that automatically. Again, you tell it the keyword that you want to link, internal link back to and the URL and Link Whisper will scan your entire site, all of the articles on your site and where that keyword appears that you give it, it will add the link back to your new article automatically. So if you're running multiple websites or you have a lot of content on your site and you're trying to keep track of the different articles and what you know kind of keywords or internal link anchor text that you wanna shoot back to it, Link Whisper is definitely worth looking into, checking out the pricing page right now. So a single site license is $57, three sites is $97, and again, the 10 site license, which I have is $147. This plugin saves me a ton of time, especially when I'm publishing new articles. I don't have to do that site search and, and try to find all of the random articles on my site to add internal links to. I can just tell Link Whisper a couple of different keywords or anchor text that I want it to find for me and then give the link, the internal link back. Now, Link Whisper has a bunch of other features like reporting um, and kind of write, running audits and so on and so forth. Um, but the auto linking feature to me is worth it alone. All right, so those are the four core plugins that I include pretty much on every niche site that I'm building, depending on what theme I'm using. But let's talk about two bonus plugins here. And this is especially true, one, if you're trying to build an email list, and two, if you care about the design of your website. So the first bonus plugin is by Thrive Themes. I think they call it the Thrive Suite. Now, the first thing that I use Thrive Themes or the Thrive Suite for is building out you know, custom looking at pages on my website. So here's a lead magnet that I have on my SEO website. And this page was entirely designed with Thrive Architect, which is kind of one of the plugins they include in their Thrive Suite. So it allows you to, you know, build these types of pages with this box here and the colors and the button and the images and everything, how it's kind of laid out basically here. You can also build entire sales pages that look 
pretty professional, right? Professionally designed. You can build these yourself. So this is one for my niche site academy, which just closed. But this is what the sales page looked like. And I'll just kind of scroll down so you can see this was built entirely by me, right? I didn't pay a designer to do this. And I built this completely in Thrive Architect. So again, Thrive Architect is a page builder, right? You can build kind of fancy looking pages like this. I would only really recommend it for landing pages, sales pages, or maybe kind of link bait where you're trying to create a, a fancy piece of content, but you can create really nice looking pages with Thrive Architect, which is a part of the Thrive Suite. Now, the second thing that I use it for mainly is for lead generation or capturing emails, right? And they call this Thrive Leads. Again, that's a, another tool inside of their suite. So you can see here on this same opt-in or landing page, this kind of email collection box here with the name, email, and a button. So this is all done with Thrive Leads. So you can add opt-ins, you can add email forms like this. And if I were to type in a name and an email here and click this watch for free, it's gonna send that information, the name and the email, it connects with my email responder, which is Active Campaign. So it connects with Active Campaign. So that information gets passed from Thrive Leads to Active Campaign. Um, and when they click this button, they get redirected to the actual freebie. So Thrive Leads is great for capturing emails. You can do a lot of different email captures. You can do the one at kind of the top, right? The top banner ones that you guys have seen. You can do pop-ups exit intent pop-ups. You can do slide-ins, right? Pop-ups that are not pop-ups, but um, opt-ins that come in from the side in content pops up. So if you're focused on building your list, um, Thrive Leads is what I've been using for years and years. Again, you're not gonna really use these on your everyday blog articles, but for collecting emails, for landing pages, for sales pages, I definitely recommend looking into the Thrive Suite. And then the second bonus plugin that I recommend is Generate Blocks. So you know with basic WordPress Gutenberg, it's not impossible, but it's somewhat difficult to create kind of nice looking websites, a nice looking homepage, a nice looking landing page. So Generate Blocks is basically somewhere in between the classic Gutenberg and Thrive Architect, right? It's more lightweight, it's easier on your page speed, but you can design good looking about pages, home pages, and let me just show you a few examples from their website. So I'm on the generate blocks template area right here, right? And so it shows you all of the things or the types of pages or the types of elements that you can create with generate blocks pro, right? One example here, if you wanted to create an about page or a team page, and you wanted to kind of look fancy like this, right? So this is a great layout here. If you wanted to create, again, a really nice about or team page that would be you know, not impossible to do in Gutenberg, but probably a lot more difficult. And then when you click on this demo button here, it shows you all of the things that you can create. So these nice buttons, I showed you one that I had on my site from Thrive Architect, but here are these buttons that are included with Generate Blocks Pro, contact pages. You know, this is kind of basic. You can probably do this in Gutenberg, but they have a bunch of stuff here. So if I click on content, kind of this column layout with the images and the text, in these buttons. Again, possibly you can do this with Gutenberg, but it's more drag and drop with Generate Blocks hero sections for your website, like kind of these top areas of your site. Again, if you want your homepage to look really good, if you want some of the landing pages to look really good, or maybe even some sales pages as well. Let me show you a few more that I like. So these info boxes here with this image, You've got this little styling here with the check mark and then these icons down here. Again, these are kind of drag and drop that you can customize pretty easily using Generate Blocks. Let me show you one more, which is a pricing table, right? So maybe you're doing kind of an affiliate type of article. Maybe you're selling something on your own website. Just to be able to create this styling, right? These really nice looking elements is a great feature of Generate Blocks. It's reasonably priced. It's really easy to you. So again, if you're doing some more advanced stuff on your blog or your niche site in terms of design, 
um, then I do recommend checking out Generate Blocks Pro. All right, so with WordPress plugins, that's really all it is for me. It's kind of those four core plugins, Yoast, WP Rocket, Short Pixar, and Link Whisper. And if you're trying to take your site to the next level by collecting email addresses or building landing pages and sales pages, then I recommend checking out Thrive Suite and Generate Blocks Pro. Do me a favor, if you like this video, smash that like button and let me know in the comments below what are some of your go-to plugins for WordPress. Thanks guys.